Oh shit! Welcome back to Slow Steading. If you watched my last video about the quail coop build, you probably noticed by the end that we had a couple rabbits living in it. We picked up two free rabbits locally and they were ready for a home and the quail coop happened to be ready at that time so that's where they ended up. But the baby quail are ready to get outside, getting a little smelly. So today we are doing the rabbit tractor. It'll get these guys back out on the grass and then the quail will be able to move into this thing too. So let's get at it. This crazy early summer storm came out of nowhere. I don't know why, but I'm getting the feeling that the patio is probably not the safest place for me to be working on this. So I'm moving the whole thing over to the driveway. Power's up. It's getting seriously windy out here. We're gonna go lock up the birds. Whoa, and there it is. A huge tree-sized branch landed right where I was working the day before. Yeah, that's why I moved to the driveway. Phew, the storm's passed. This is more like it. Back to work.
Would you believe that these are unused bed slats I found in my parents' basement? Perfectly usable lumber. It's available everywhere. You just keep your eyes open. This 2x4 mesh on the bottom of the structure will keep both predators out and the rabbits in because they do like to dig.
know. No, it's not really ready. I'm just I can't want wait. To stay. No, the bunny. We're gonna move it to the grass and put the bunnies in. Can we right now? Yeah. Yay! Moving into their new house today. The rabbits are happy and so are the kids. Another one for the books here at Slow Steading. Thanks for watching.